Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today it's two for one. We're gonna do the crayon resist. When I say crayon it's just those crayons, the kids crayon on glossy paper and then I thought we can do something else after that. Well after I was done with this step I did this here. I spray water. I think you can see it's all kind of like, I don't know, it gives a cool background. I think you can see in the video here. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's get started. First thing, you need a piece of glossy paper. I'm starting with a piece that measures five and a quarter by four. You're going to stamp with archival ink pad and you have to let it dry completely. If not, it make a good mess. Well, I stamp right away before the video, let it dry and I use the Bertie Blooms. And then after it's dry, we're going to take the crayon here and we will um, do lines. Wherever you want to keep it white, you're going to add your little lines. Um, it's no right and wrong, really. I should have done a bit in advance so you guys don't have to watch me do all this. So whatever you want to keep white, and some of it going to peel off as you sponge. So uh, nothing, um, and it's hard to see where you've been and where you didn't go. Well, I'm going to show you a little tip to show you how to pinpoint where you're at in this here. So if you go sideways here, I don't know if you can see in the video, but you're going to see what I'm talking about when you do yours. You're going to see it's more like dull where you put the crayon. So right now I know I didn't put nothing at this end here. So it depends how much white and that you want and so on. So after you're done with your crayon, now we're going to sponge. I'm going to add some right here. Okay, whatever that you're going to choose to sponge the color, I mean, it's never going to look the same. Trust me. So I got Melon Mambo, I got Rich Razzleberry and Crush Curry. And that is exactly the color I use for these two. Do I have some purple? No, I don't. But I get purplish with the water there. So let's get started i like to start with the darkest color oh that's red i don't need that okay so i'm going to start with melon mumbo here and i just sponge here and there and like i said it is no right it is no wrong um first it look worse before it get it look better okay now that's the yellow okay I don't know why I had all those sponge here with me. And see, this is not a big difference, but it make a difference when we're going to use the water, I think. Okay, now I'm just going to leave it like that. It's plenty of that, those colors, I think, but I know I'm going to come back. Now I get my yellow. And a yellow on top of these color almost look like a cameo coral or peachy color. So if you see kind of a, some peach, uh, that's those two color mixed together. So I just go back and forth till, I mean, this would be pretty good. But then I think it's too much uh, yellow for me. So what I done, I came back with lighter pink. See, I don't punch as R. So that's where I get more like my cameo color. My, here we go. And here I don't, oh, this was in the purple here. It's, I didn't like the way it was blending there. Now I'm going to come back with my yellow. Okay, so that looked pretty good to me here. So I would call that good and mount that on the card. And it looked very different when you mount it on the card. One thing you have to do though, it's take a rag and wipe this. And see, 
the white of my crayon it's a lot more pronounced now because it take the ink that was on top of that pretty much off okay so that's pretty good there I get let me blend it just a little bit more there because I want to put the water okay now that would be ready to mount on the card if you just want the crayon resist now if we want to crank it up a notch you're going to take your water mess that just use the spritz bottle and put water in it now i got a little cover here i think that's going to work for my um then you're going to miss that and you're going to miss that that it's almost running water so let me and I, you don't want to go too close because that it's just going to do those big splatter so let me see if i can do that with the camera without going uh, Okay, so you see the water pooling there? Leave it that way. I see I don't have in the corner there. Oops. So now I'm just going to let that pool. And to be honest, how long it's going to take to dry? I let mine dry overnight. I thought I ruined it completely and I went to bed. This morning I got up and I'm like, oh, I like it. So the only thing I'm going to do is stab a bit where it's too pooling there. That's it. The rest, I'm going to let that dry completely the way it is. I'm going to move that away. And now, this, what's going to happen, it, your paper is going to get all both, what I mean, wobbly. So, uh, see how wobbly it is? I think you can see it's all like band. And, okay, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So, I'm going to use a piece of that uh, ribbon. Let me, I didn't grab that. Let me grab that. It is um, uh, the shimmer ribbon. I'm using the black shimmer. You can see it's kind of glitter in there. And um, I'm just going to do a four knot. I think I grabbed way too much uh, ribbon. So do um, around your finger once and then twice. So I call that my full bow or my full knot, whatever you want to call it. For me, it worked awesome. Et voila. It's twisted there, but it's going to fix by itself. Now you're going to come sideways and cut that. And I think this is empty. Yes, I need fast fuse. This, I need fast fuse. So <clears throat> you want to straight this up. So the best way to do that it's take your fast fuse and the reason why i want fast fuse because it get more uh, power to the glue put it that way so it's going to stay put okay whoops i got a hair here i'm shedding okay i'm gonna put this right here oops don't like this way twist here well I don't know what I did on this one, but it twisted. I thought it would fix by itself. Here we go. We're going to fix it when it's on the card. Now I'm going to take this and it's going to go here. So I'm going to put this at the bottom. Yeah, I got way too much ribbon. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, I always like to add more uh, fast fuse in the back of my ribbon. It's just secure it very good. Okay, here's the trip to get that back flat. Because if I just go like this, it's a good chance I'm going to have a bubble someplace. And then it's kind of tricky to get down. So you can go from one direction or the other or the top on the bottom. doesn't matter. As long as you keep one direction and go smooth from there. So I'm going to start from the top here. Put it on my piece of black and see I keep this up here and then go down and push it all straight and that's going to make the world of a difference to get your paper straight up flat without any bow in it because it really bow quite a bit and I'm sure I could have used some um, see how flat it is now 
it is awesome so if you really push it down it's going to work wonderful this one really get nice pattern in it i don't know how much you can see but the just let it air dry i wouldn't use the heat tool because if you eat, use the e tool, it's just going to do that spider web. That would give you a different look because, you know, the power of the embossing gun, the heat tool, just push the hair. So you would have like the spider web. So that would give you a different look. So it would be something cool also. So now i just going to mount that on top of my Melon Mambo. So this one is Melon Mambo. I want to point out we didn't use rose red at all in our colors but this one i mounted on rose red because i thought that was the color it worked better and see this one i see more of my yellow i think it's awesome to see the color how it turned out so this is it my friend and when this one is dry see it start bowing pretty good and i got that marbleized there so you can maybe move some of the water get more marbleized whatever you prefer so it's going to take a while to dry because i use quite a bit of water so this is it for the crayon resist with an a little extra step so thank you so much for watching till next time happy stamping oh by the way if you want to have the measurement all the color that i use and the supplies right above in the high it's going to bring you right to my blog post have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.